No, no, no. Ali, can you see your screen? Yes. Give me a minute. Okay, so from here. Okay. Okay, I see what you did. Okay, good. Okay. So you open this guy first, right? So you did two times x, two x, then two times minus four, good. Then you combine these two, good. Are you with me? Yes, uh, I'm with you. I wanna add something. Also, I go back to the video to make sure. I found some mistake with nine and then I fix it with number nine. Okay, okay, good. Wait, hold on, let me, let me quickly. Okay. Negative, negative, good, negative, negative, good. All right. Yes, good. Positive, negative, good. Negative three. This would be together. This would be together. Good job. Good. Great, great one. Okay, so were you able to uh, think, what and what did I give you in the last class? Uh -huh. You said to watch uh, the video 10 and 11. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, okay, so watch video 10 and 11. Okay, so that's more questions on. Were you able to go through those uh, what problems we were doing? Were you able no, to finish? I, no, I didn't touch them. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's what, that's what we're going to look at. Because those are also important. Yeah, I think we're done to number 10. I think we stopped at number 11. All right. So let's let's look at from number 12. Yes. Yeah, try to do number 12 now. Okay.
I send it to the chat. Can you check if it's right? Okay. Which is 63? Yes, I did 63 minus X. Or read it again. Okay. Which expression response the following? Oh, six times the three less. Then it's okay. It's six times three minus x. Yes, six x. times three minus x. Because it says here six, it says here six times three. That's, that's six times three. Then less a number minus a number. Okay. So that's six times three is 18. So it will be 18 less a number okay uh, 18. Okay. yes you have to multiply the numbers so it should be 18. let me do again Okay, we did the same thing as we did the for, for the homework. Like six times x is six x, six times three eighteen. Mm -hmm. And then okay. So it should just be six times three eighteen. Okay. Okay. So eighteen minus x. You can't. You can't. You can't. Um, you can't multiply. Uh. You can multiply 18 and uh, that minus X, you can't do that. All right? Are you with me? Hello? Who is there? Ali, are you there? Okay. Sipa, are you there? Hello, Sipa, your microphone is muted. Are you there? Okay, Ali, can you go to number 13? Try number 13.
Ali, can you try? Just try. Just give me an equation first. Just try something. Sikra, we are number 13. Can you try number 13, Sikra?
Yes, I see. Okay. Sika says represent Sika. I'm not we're not told to ask how many bottle water represent it in an equation Sika.
Hello, Sikra, are you there? Okay. So it says here, <coughs> Ali, are you are you here? Can you unmute your microphone and speak? Okay. A tall guy purchases umbrellas, bottled waters packages for of aspirin for this his group umbrellas cost each bottled water cost each and a package cost of aspirin cost 
Okay, I think there's supposed to be like numbers here. U V W. Like U V W. Let let's represent the numbers of the umbrellas. Of the umbrellas with uh number of umbrellas with bottled water and also with aspirin. So it will be U plus V plus W. Okay. Because it's this is not complete. It's supposed to be let's represent the number of umbrellas, number of bottled water, and the number of aspirin packs. So it should be U plus V plus W. Okay. Sikra, are you there? Uh and Ali, did you see that? Are you okay? Okay. Okay, everyone try number 14. Okay, I can't hear you, Ali. I just see your message. I can't hear you. Okay, secret. You say your answer is yeah, but me, I can't hear you. I don't know why. Let me check. Sekra, can you speak? Okay, you say your answer is 5B plus C. You were talking there. Why am I not hearing you? Hold on. You are all muted. Wait, let me unmute. You're all muted. Hold on. Is it my setting? I really don't know. All muted. All muted. Oh, I didn't do this. One minute. Just a minute. <clears throat> I can still hear you. Can you hear us now? Can you speak again? Hello? 
Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, uh -huh. thank you. Can what you, happened? Can you hear us? I don't know. Yes, yes I can. Maybe you mute us? I didn't. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I didn't actually. It's it's doing it by itself. So I think you always have to unmute before you speak. Okay. I keep doing that, but it did, didn't let me until now. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem. Let's uh, let's go back. All right. So our answer for number thirteen. Okay, I see everyone. All right. So let's do it together. That's that's number fourteen. I. Mean. So it says write an algebraic expression for the description. Use variables b and c. Say so the difference of the difference. So five multiplied by a number, let's say five times b, and the product. So five times b, because it says the difference. Okay. Okay. So it will be five times b minus in parentheses product of negative four and another number. So negative four times C. Okay. So that will be five B minus in parentheses negative four C. All right. Which will become this negative multiply this negative. You have five B plus four C. Good. So this will be our final answer. Good. Good. All right. What up number 15? Secret, do you see that? Good. What about number 15? How did what did you do for number 15? Tell me. P X minus one hundred. Okay, good, good job, everyone. Yes, I, yes, 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 I'm happy now. Okay, can we do number 16? Sorry, this should be X, not Z. This should be a Z, I mean, not X. Um, I get negative 16 over negative 8 equal to. So what's your final answer? Positive 2. Okay, drop your answer in the, in the chat box. Okay, good. Good job, everyone. All right. So you have negative 4, negative 12 over 2 times negative 4. So that's negative 16 over negative 8. And this gives us a positive 2. two. Good, good. Um, Number Ms. 7. Ms. Blitz, yes, on, yes. On, on, uh, on these numbers, uh, where he has to write the expression. Can you explain to him what a number is? I'm telling him he's not getting it. So I'm you angry. tell him. I'm angry. No, no, no. A number. Yeah. What's a number, Srikar? They do. No. Hmm. See, that's what misses which, the. In which number, number? Any problem where you have to write expression, 
you know, where it says a number. Okay. Like, he, he doesn't get the that. Yes, what, me too. I get it. Okay. What is it? A number. Listen. A number. It's is a is the unknown. I don't. Are you with me? Yeah. This says five multiplied by a number. You know, they will first say use the variables B and C. Yeah, so see. that's a number is the unknown. Yeah, and see. you either use the, the variables you're told. Okay. The question we always give you is use X as the unknown, which is the number, a number. X. Are you with me? Okay. Do you get that secret? X. See, when they say a number, mm. okay, they you don't know what it is, mm. right? Mm. So you have to use a variable. Yeah. Mm. X. X. Any letter you pick, mm. any letter. X. X. Okay. Now, okay. Not not just any letter. You pick the letter that you're you're given in the question. The question will tell you which letter to pick to yes. use okay just like here it says she starts uh okay not here uh let's go up a bit mm. okay you can look at here it says use the variable x x all right so wherever you see that a number you make that a number x because it's unknown all right yeah. Do you okay. know what a number is? X. Well, you don't know what a number yeah. is. You put whatever variable they give. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now do number 17, okay? 17. Yes. Ali, I hope you get it, okay? Hello. Yes. Uh, we're supposed to do x plus twenty three or twenty three plus x. What's your answer? Seventeen. Uh, twenty three plus x. Yeah, twenty three plus x. Why? Yeah, that's for number seventeen. Okay, because it says it says here twenty three more than a number. Okay, so. A number is x, all right? So 23 more than it. So it should be x plus 23, not 23 plus x. Are you with me? 23 more. That is after this number, 23 more, okay? So it should be x plus, plus 23, all right? Good, good one, Sikra. Okay, let's look at number 18. Number 18, he did by himself. Oh, good. Okay. Hello. Yes. 
18 is right or wrong? Just hold on. Let's see if I look. Well, I think he sent it. He sent it? Yeah, he mm -hmm. sent the answer. Oh, okay. Okay, look at this. It says, at the zoo, the elephant weighs 10 times as much as the zebra. Okay? It says, if the zebra's weight is represented by Z, okay, what is an expression for the combined weight of the two animals? All right? Combined weight, that's the total weight. All right, so if the elephant is 10 times Z, right? So that would be 10 Z, then the zebra is just Z plus Z, okay? Are you with me? So combining this thing, this two will be 11 Z. You were close, um, Ali, you were very I, close. I, yeah, I have the answer 11 Z, but sometimes I don't know how to, do the equation as you do it 10 z plus no 10 times c no 10 plus c no 10 z then plus z plus, okay. okay yeah because it says the combined weight of the two animals so the elephant plus the zebra and we are told that the elephant is 10 times z okay which is 10 z then the zebra is just z alone yeah so okay. you you can combine this to remember there's an invisible one here one. yes Zikra, yes. are you seeing that there's an invisible one here so you combine it to give us 11 z yes Zikra. okay secret do you see that i see i see he made a mistake uh yeah. this, because it is two animals yes two animals. okay Srika, you see this yeah you okay let me know when to go forward ali you can start trying number 19.
Okay, let's look at it together. Ali, why are you using X? You're given S and C. Look at it again, Ali. Okay, let's look at it together. Is everyone with me? So it says, Emma collects S stamps and C coins. Anna Clara only collects baseball cards. The number of baseball cards Anna, Anna Clara has is 12 more than the number, number of stamps, the number of Emma stamps, okay? So, the number of baseball cards Anna Clara has is 12 more, 12 more, okay? So, let's say baseball is equal to 12 more than the number of Emma stamps. So, if Emma stamps is uh, S, all right, Anna Clara's baseball is S plus 12. Okay, then plus 10, plus 10, then less than twice as many coins as Emma. That's less than minus 2C. Let's see. Okay, Sigra. Yes. Um, we put it as two C minus ten. Mm. Ten less than plus. Okay, yes, correct. 10 less than, yes. Less than, 10 is less than twice as many coins. So it will be 2C minus 10. Good, good. Okay, do you see that? Yeah. Uh, that means my answer is wrong. What I did, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, you have to follow it through as a statement, as it said, all right? So the first statement is the number of baseball cards Anna Clara has is 12 more than, 12 more than, more than is S plus 12. Are you with me? Plus 10 less than twice as many coins as Emma. Okay, so it is less than twice. That's 2C minus 10. Do you see that? Ali, do you see that? So yes. So this yeah. question is teaching us how to use this more than and less than. And you will notice that when we're using more than and less than, this, the, the, the statement, the, the statement more than, the number attached to it always comes before can you see 12 more than the number of Emma stamp? So if Emma stamp is S, more than means plus 12 more. Then here, okay, it says another plus 10 less than. That is after twice C or before twice, uh, two times the coins that Emma has. So it will be 2C minus 10, okay? So that's what we have. So from here, we have to, we have a constant here, a constant here. So it will be S uh, plus 2C, then plus 12 minus 10, okay? So that will be S plus 2C plus 12, positive 12 minus 10 will give us a positive two. 
Do you see that? So this is our final answer. Okay? The final Second, answer is S. Yeah. S. S, S plus 2C plus 2. Sikra, you have to also solve your, your final answer, okay? Because you have to simplify your expression. You have two constants. You have two numbers here. So you have to finally simplify your expression. And it should be this. Okay, Sikra, do you hear me? I can hear you guys. Can you uh, mute your microphone? Yes. Yeah. So what? He, yeah, oh. he needs to simplify. He did not simplify. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you finally do number twenty-two? Do work on it. What problem number twenty-two? So say your answer. What yes, is it? Square correct? Uh -huh. Okay. So it says write an algebraic expression for this. Use the variable x. The square. Okay. Hello. Yes. A 20 is right. X to the second power plus 15. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. No, no, no. Can you try again? Sikra, you've not sent your answer. It's not the right answer. I can't see his answer. Oh, we couldn't, he couldn't put x squared. That's why. That's why he was talking. What is your answer here? I, I did it to the first time I get 15. Yeah. He got x squared plus 15. Okay. okay. The second okay. thing, so yeah, and I get a one. I don't know if it's right. Okay, let's let's do it together. All right. S look at this. It says the oh, square yeah, of he the sum of a number and 15. The square. That's the square of this. That's what it says. So the sum of a number, let the number be x plus 15, then the square. Do you do you see that? Yeah, but we're talking about twenty. No, 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 no. Sorry, I said twenty-two. Um, Ali. No. Okay, okay. Oh, you didn't hear me. I said number twenty-two. Sorry. Okay, but for the the answer for number twenty-two, this is it. All right, the square of the sum of a number and fifteen. So, what's the sum of the number and fifteen? That is x plus 15, then all square. Okay? Okay, I get it right. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. He made a mistake. All right, no problem. So I want us to work on number 20 and 21 as, uh, you know, work on it again. Okay? And uh, so I think we can move, we can move further. Uh, but I want to ask a question. I did 20 i get negative one the first time i get x squared plus 15 second times i get negative one with on which, number 20 you're supposed to just get a number just you are number. evaluating yes this okay. you're not expressing or simplifying 
you're evaluating. So in this expression, you make x equal to negative one. Every x, you make it a negative one. Yes, Are you doing yes, so? Yeah. So your uh, please, when you, when you all do this, please put it on the WhatsApp group. Let me see your solution on the WhatsApp group. Okay? For 20, 20 and 21? Yes, 20 and 21. All okay. right, Sika. Um, what else? So I think we can move forward, right? Can we move forward? We can move forward to today 11. Is that possible? Same. Okay, good. Sigra, you so you focus on day 11. All right, I'm going to send you um, the practice questions for day 11. Okay? Say okay, she's okay. asking you. Okay. All right, okay. Uh, I wanna ask a question. Can you uh, add about graphs? I agree to be mine. The stuff for next week. Graphs? Yes. Of course, we're getting to graphs and functions. Uh, oh yes, graphs and functions. Look at it here. That's day 16. I've, I've, it's, already, it's already posted. Oh, okay, thank you. Your coordinate plane is here. Your functions is day 18. Okay, I need to repost that soon. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, everyone, see you on Friday. What time on Friday? 4 p.m. I thought we've agreed on that. Okay, because I will have to stop work and then get back to work for the class at 4 p.m. I'll okay. try that this Friday, okay? No problem. Yeah. Okay, good night, everyone. I joined by day at 5 p.m. 4 p.m. I joined by day at 5 p.m. Okay, bye.